Hmm. I guess a feeling of seclusion. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. I was feeling left out. And I felt... Um, at times, I felt uh, family, friends, close ones were um, excluding me from information. And that worried me and scared me, and I didn't like it. Um, an excitement I felt um, in viewing even just a simple television program with my sisters. You know, I wasn't asking, what did they say? Can you turn it up? You know, that kind of thing. Um, also, um, the communication between my bosses has become more fluid, more easy. I'm not being... Um, I guess you know, I'd say disciplined um, because I'm hearing what they're asking, I'm hearing what they're saying, and I understand my workload better. So that it's made it a lot easier at work. Work and in church, it's made it a, a total difference, a total difference to be able to hear them at the pulpit. I don't like getting old, but these are facts, and I, you have to deal with them. Or you have to just kind of <laughs> live in a muted world. Awesome. Yeah, because um, because of my hearing loss, I live with my sisters, and they're so they're the ones that judge everything that's going on with me, and um, I can see that they're not conspiring against me. I know that sounds silly, but you almost feel that when you can't hear and they're talking about something and you feel like, oh, it's too low, they don't want me to hear this, you know, so I'll go someplace else. But now when, when you hear, you hear them talking about just everyday mundane things and you realize that it's not personal. So you just, you know, it has helped relax the tension in the home. So... That's really helped. It really helped a lot. I know it sounds kind of silly, but, you know, it's, um, there's two of us that are divorced and one that's never been married, and, um, so three is an odd number, and it's sometimes one of us is going to feel left out, but it was always me because I couldn't hear what was going on. Um, that it doesn't have to be. That... The new technology has made it possible to be an active player in the game of life, you know, because I can hear. Um, I felt like I was fading away. I just felt like everything was fading away and that I, had, I didn't have a place anymore because I couldn't hear. And so I kind of withdrew and went into myself more than, and I didn't like it. So I like the fact that Technology has made it possible and as easy as wearing something as lightweight on my ears as these hearing aids. And they're not, sh you know, I, um, growing up, I used to think, you know, old people wear hearing aids just because they're old, you know. But now it's like, no, we want to hear. We want to hear. We want to be a part of society. We want to hear. It's not, and I see them. And I'm not ashamed of it. And I, I'll say it all the time. Um, I was on the, the phone with my boss at the pharmacy getting her medication. And um, I've had my hearing aids hooked up to my phone. Well, I wanted her to talk to the pharmacist. And it was as easy as pulling my phone out and hitting the audio button and going to the speaker. And it, it just lit up my world. It was like, oh cool you know and she could talk to him and I, you know it was a joint conversation and I got what she needed at the pharmacy so it was really helpful oh you wouldn't believe you know because yes. I love to walk and so um I put on my talking tapes you know and it's right in my ears I a lot of times I'm walking on the highway the side of the highway so I've got traffic going past me and I can still hear what's going on on my 
books or my tapes and stuff like that. And I yeah. just love that. I love that. Not have to put the big headphone on. You know, get help. Get help. It's so worth it. It's just, it should be one of our highest priorities. You can't take, you know, anything with you when you go. So you might as well enjoy life while you're here. You know, it's, you, you need to hear. You need to hear the, the loved ones say, I love you. You just need it. 